Greetings, Earthlings. Thank you for another tuning in to another episode of Influx or Media Podcast. We got an NCAA Men's Basketball Division One star with us, Hoopa Seamoss out of Lithuania. Love to have yes, you. Sir. Thank you. My name is Miles, and this is Alex. <clears throat> I I just I don't like his <laughs> say like Alexander. Alexander. <laughs> Alexander. <laughs> Alexander, just something more. <laughs> Alex is like, bothers me. Seamoss, yes, we in the Bahamas. Yep. Look at that yep. shirt, boy. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say, yep. I feel like that's like the most Bahamas, Bahamas shirt. shirt you can have. <laughs> right. Um, how you liking it? How you feeling out here? Uh, I like it, man. I woke up, the view is crazy because yeah. we got in last night, so it was dark, so I couldn't really see anything. Mm-hmm. But man, I woke up, immediately pulled out my phone, started filming everything. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's crazy, man. This is okay. my first time. So. Yeah, I was gonna say, is yeah. this the first like international trip that you've been on, I guess? Cause like uh, primarily probably just playing like the US, right? Yeah, we went to we went to Italy and Greece this summer as mm. a team. Oh really? Yeah, That's wild. yeah so That's that awesome. was that was cool. But nice. uh, I was, I sprained my ankle the day before we left and I was on crutches the whole trip. So, oh, dang. so yeah, it wasn't. Let's make sure we don't do that again, okay? <laughs> yeah, do I will make sure. Okay. Let's make sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we were talking briefly, uh, Simas and um, sophomore um, shooter. You score. You you like to get buckets. I do. I you do. you I like bucket to. getter. I mean, I like to pass too. Okay, you know, all you know, around a little bit of everything. But yeah, okay. I'd say my my game style is is yeah. Just I like to have the ball in my hands and, and make decisions. You know, whether it be scoring or pat mm-hmm. or or making the play for others. What uh, what position are you? Um. Really, I can play anything. Yeah. Right now, I, I'd say I play the one to the three mostly, a, a guard. But uh, we have we have three three of our power forwards are injured right now, so we have zero power forwards. Uh, so I slid over to mm, to the four spot. Okay. So now it's kind of a we got an interesting thing going Y'all on. Playing like small ball then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> very small ball. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'd say yeah, I don't have like a a set position. I can play any guard position. You, I can slide over to the four if you want me to. Nice, mm. nice. Even though I wouldn't like to. Yeah. I prefer to play guard. Yeah. What, uh, yeah. what like player in the NBA yeah. do your, does your game emulate? I guess, or if you don't, maybe have a player. What's a yeah. player that you just respect or really? My enjoy my favorite player is Luca by far. Oh, we, live, uh, we live in Dallas, so okay, we're, we're okay. very familiar yeah. with yeah. him. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've been watching him since he was in in Madrid in Spain. You know, since he was sixteen, 16 years old. Dang. So. I want to say like I try and consciously like emulate what he does, but I guess naturally because I mean we're both like not really athletic, yeah. like to you know beat people with our basketball like you instead of you know just out jumping them. Uh, mm-hmm. I feel like obviously I'm far from his level, but my game kind of emulates his a little bit. Right. So if if I had to get a player comparison, obviously that's a crazy mm-hmm. talent. So right, I right. Could, it's kind of ridiculous to say that, but yeah. I don't think. Uh, there's anybody more, you know, in terms of play style similar to me. Would you say that's like the, is that the European style right. of basketball kind of? Like, do you think that's like a reason potentially? Um, I'd say a, li- a little bit of that, but you know, he's so good. Like he's one of the best basketball players in the world. You can't just say that, oh, that's just how Europeans play. Mm-hmm. Like, no, it's Luca. Like mm-hmm. he's, he's, he's once in a generation type of player. So, right. so obviously, you know, the, the way he was brought up and, and the way we play over there kind of, influenced his his game but yeah. but you know it's all it's all him you know it's just a little part of it that uh, is, is europe i i know i'm gonna ask you this and i just want to see what your thoughts are but there is like i don't know if it's a stigma or a stereotype for european players but it's like you know whether it be you guys like are physical or you guys may not be as le- athletic as the u.s guys how does that play into your game and do you use that to your advantage and or what do you think about that overall like the the uh, the idea of a european player coming into the states and people have like an idea that they think they yeah. already know what they are i mean i think that idea is outdated yeah i feel like it maybe it made sense like 20 years ago but now you know the you see Giannis, you see Jokic. Mm-hmm. You're gonna tell me Jokic isn't physical, yeah, right. <laughs> so, yep. you know it's uh, it's it's outdated. But uh, I understand it, and uh, but I don't think it, it makes sense anymore because you know that's my teammates too. Right. You know maybe I, the the not athletic thing. Yeah, it's it's true, especially for me. Uh-huh. But uh, yeah, I think it's it's more of a just you know the way I play type mm-hmm. of thing, and not where I'm from. So right. so growing up in Europe, like. What what made you pick basketball? Like, what what was maybe your earliest memory that you had 
playing basketball and what got um, you into it? My my dad is a basketball coach, mm-hmm. okay, and uh, and he used to play basketball professionally, so okay. that's probably the main reason. Yeah. And uh, the first memory, I mean, I remember every time my dad was a coach, so we would move around different countries and uh, and live in different places, and I would always have a some mini basketball hoop in the apartment mm-hmm. somewhere. So, nice. Yeah, that, that's that was kind of the. Did, the so did thing. did you grow up playing other sports at all, or pretty much like um, early on, yeah, you like you... basketball is going to be it because. Soccer is like. Or, I was gonna I say it. soccer, and you kind of mentioned it though. I would say, when we see it in the national or just like international play, mm-hmm. that like the U.S. isn't dominant anymore. There, there are teams that easily can compete with the U.S. now. Yeah. So, like, how how has the game grown, like in Europe and? Yeah, I mean, with the with the social media and uh, and the NBA just growing so much, more and more people want to play right. and. Nice. Uh, the, the kind of style of basketball that is being played and these athletic guys and these six foot ten point guards is kind of becoming normalized and uh, all these kids in Europe see how the kids in America play and it kind of becomes there's less difference mm-hmm. so uh, um, yeah and that kind of contri- contributes to the growth of the sport and uh, yeah you asked about soccer um, Blaney is terrible in soccer. <laughs> um, I tell people like if I started to play soccer right now, I'd go straight into the national team. Damn. But uh, yeah, I had a I had a phase maybe when I was like seven years old, where like for three months I really wanted to be a professional soccer goalkeeper. Oh, but, yeah, that cool. kind of died out. Yeah, very yeah. clean. And I, I, ne- I never even played. So I would just like play with my friends outside. Right. You know, mm-hmm. I never went to like practice or play uh, for a team or anything. It was always basketball. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so with it always being basketball, um, you and me one on one to twenty one. What's happening? Uh, twenty one zero. I'll let you decide to, uh, who, who wins. That, but um, you said that too quick. I feel I'm, like yeah. I'm, I'm convinced. Like we we actually got to watch a game in one of the ballrooms, and that was the first time that I got super close to just oh, watching yeah. college basketball. Yeah. yeah. And in my head, for some reason, I don't want to say I could compete, but I thought I at least could be walk okay. on the court. I thought I could <laughs> yeah. at least like Maybe step if on it. Pass yeah. me the ball. Be like, oh, pass it over here or something. Yeah. And then when I saw, no way. It, it's close. I'm like, oh yeah, no way, Mm-mm. no way. As soon as I get the ball, so it's I'm, a wrap. I agree with you. Yeah. 21-0. Okay, I'm, I'm 21-0. Yeah, I might have to zero. ask you about your play style. You know, like, what's, what's your history? What's your history? You know who Shaq is? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> okay, I guess. All right, so I have to show you some things. Okay, I guess. Um, you um, Lithuania. Yep. Um, when when did we make that journey to the states? Uh, last September was my first ever time in really? the United States. Oh, really? Yeah, Man. I got recruited really late. So we have four freshmen in our class. Well, I mean now sophomores, mm. but the yeah. the guys that came in together with me and they were at Butler since June, mm. and mm. I came in and I came in in September. So it was kind of a crazy thing, and uh, yeah, it was my first time in the country. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think I adapted pretty fast and, and pretty well. So yeah, I, I'm having a lot of fun over there. Was that like your initial goal? And like growing up as a kid, where you're like, I gotta get to America, or like, how did that journey did you just go by the start? Flow? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd say a mix, a mix of both, because like, me and my dad had this plan. Like when I was little, you know, watching, mm-hmm. I don't know, Duke, UCLA. Like mm-hmm. we kind of had this in the back of our heads that if there's a opp- good opportunity, that we we want to go to the NCAA. But mm-hmm. it wasn't like a no matter what, I'm going. Like if we found the right spot, mm-hmm. and uh, and thankfully we did. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, was that like oh. an inti- I was just gonna say, was that an intimidating journey for you? Like, did you have any nerves going into it? And like you said, I feel you didn't even come in with four, you know, three other guys because you kind of came in late. Yeah. So mm-hmm. how was that experience? Because yeah. to me, I mean, if I had to move to Europe by myself, that would yeah. be just yeah. crazy yeah. to me. So I mean, obviously, obviously, I was nervous, but yeah. I'm nervous before everything, so mm-hmm. this, it wasn't something out of the ordinary. But and. Uh, I played, you know, I played in Germany before, so I moved to Germany by mm-hmm. myself when I was when I was 15. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't like a completely new thing. And also, I speak the language. I, I spoke English before I came here, so it wasn't. It was just I was just kind of nervous in terms of like you know basketball wise, like what's it gonna be like, you know, what's the coach like and, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But in terms of like you know, gelling with the, with the team and everything, I was more more excited mm-hmm. than, than nervous. How so? Okay, so I mean that I mean. You saying you you just got into the states, you know, yeah. not even so long ago, is Lithuania like known for like making sure everyone speaks English? Like, how how did that mm. work out to where you? I mean, your English is really good to where it's like, how did that become a yeah. thing? Yeah, um, 
like I said, my dad was a basketball coach, so I moved around different different places and countries. So I kind of had to speak English, mm. and uh, yeah, I learned at a very young age. So that kind of played into it. But in general, in Europe, a lot of a lot of people speak English. It's a okay. it's a it's a it's a priority, I'd say, over there because okay. you know, unless you're in your home country, you you have to speak English to other people. So gotcha. Yeah. When so when you moved to America, what was one of the things that kind of got you comfortable was it like a certain food that you were excited to eat or like what was your first like oh i'm gonna fit in here kind of memory i guess um i say when i landed in the airport the whole team came to came to greet me oh yeah like, oh, i was, really cool. I was expecting lit. like you know just the coach to pick me up and like drive me to the yeah. arena show me around but it was the whole the whole team so that was cool that's dope and uh it, t it still took some time you know for me to like get comfortable but uh yeah, that was kind of a sign that I was like, yeah, I, be I belong here. And then, you know, once I started practicing, playing, like getting closer to the to the other guys, then I was, then, I, then it was all good. Okay, got a scenario for you. I want to know which one you're picking. Mm -hmm. You want the um, ball at the top of the key. You got a trash talker on you. <laughs> you uh-uh, and he falls down and you hit it in his eye or <laughs> fast break a chaser behind you, he gets in front of you and you yam it on him. Which one do you want more? Uh, the second one is completely unrealistic. So I'll, I'll probably pick the second one because yeah. the first one, like, you know, <laughs> it sounds amazing. Uh -huh. But the second one, I, I don't know if I'll ever do in my life. So uh -huh. I got to take the opportunity. Uh, yam yeah, it on somebody. You think okay. about these situations a lot or what? Oh, I mean, if you do, I mean, you do them as much as I do. Uh, it's not really a thought process. Um, I don't know why y'all laugh when I say that. Exactly. I don't get it. Um, so you said you play like Luca, I guess. Or um, obviously he's like a big shooter and stuff. So I'm assuming that that probably is a big part of your game. Are there are there ever moments or maybe like uh, is there like a moment where you're cold or something? Mm. Does that like affect you mm. moving forward, or are you kind of like I'm put in this position to shoot? Like I'm gonna keep shooting, or like how can you? motivate younger players that want to be in your spot that might be shooters yeah. and they're like oh you know like, they're yeah. losing confidence or yeah, whatever, yeah yeah right? yeah i mean obviously it happens it's normal that you think about like you know oh i missed three in a row like is this the right shot but uh you know basketball is 90 percent mental so mm -hmm. you, you you have to be able to deal with it if you want to succeed and uh confidence is a, a huge thing i wouldn't be i would be far from where i am if i if i was not confident mm -hmm. and uh yeah and there there are thoughts like this that come into my mind during the game, but you just have to be to be to be good enough to, you know, just push them aside and and keep doing what you're doing. OK, now we're going to do a little bit of a, a not a trivia, but I just want to see where your where your mind's at. OK, yep. and this is going to be just like a who's better in your opinion type deal. OK, OK. Yeah. All right. So this is all you don't don't feel like that. <laughs> um, Damian Lillard, Kyrie. Mm, I knew I was gonna uh, get all jobs drunk. Wow, yeah. this is a controversial one. Uh huh. I say, mm, Kyrie. Kyrie. Okay, yeah. I'm not. I think I'm there with you too. Um, Kyrie or um, ooh, what's a good one? We'll do Kyrie or Luca. Luca. That was quick. Yeah. That was uh, very. That oh, was very fast. Easy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. Let's get a little bit more difficult then. Uh, Luca or KD? I'll take Luca right now. Luca. Okay. Oh, KD. Okay. He's playing good. Yeah. I'm not mad at that at all. Um, Luca, Giannis. 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 Okay. Yeah. Um, and then Giannis, or is he the is he the best player right now? You think? Uh, yeah. I yeah. think like. Right now, yeah. Into, yeah. If you ask me about right. like into the what about Luca yeah. or LeBron? All time, current LeBron. Luca, Luca. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm there with you. Yeah, that was really fast too. Uh, there's no thought process. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. I'll, I'll ask you this question: Who's like a maybe underrated player in the NBA? Yeah. That you think? Who do you think? So uh, I haven't. I haven't really that, watched enough. Yeah. Um, but or yeah, like, what's uh, your what's your team? Is it is it the Mavs? No, the it's the Oklahoma City Thunder. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's so my you team. Gr do you like Giddy? Yeah, Giddy's I really clean. like Josh Giddy. I like, God, yeah. I like Josh Giddy. And how, how did you come to fruition, like, being a... So random. Yeah. I just... I don't even remember. Like, uh, it was probably, like, 2010, let's yeah. be honest. Was it, like, the, the three three yeah, yeah, probably. probably. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, like, I just... The, just the last thing I remember is that I'm a fan of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Yeah. I don't remember <laughs> how I got there. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, so yeah. Um, So, 
with your university, I'm gonna say it like this. It's like there are some schools that, you know, there's this like tournament in March, I think, or something like that. I think I don't know so. Ever heard yeah. Of it, but yeah. Supposedly there's some like big deal for you guys. Yeah. Um, but there are those there are those big universities that people know their name, people know their players, they get all the publicity. And then there we'll say that it's the not so well known schools or smaller schools. When you're in that tournament, you're in that environment. Are you looking for the big fish in those in those big game or in the, with those big universities, or do you want a more um, smaller school, probably closer to a win, like for sure win? Which one are you going for usually? Um, I say yeah, I don't care. Yeah, you know, just give me whoever, and mm -hmm. uh, we have we have a goal, and we we try to reach it no matter who we're going up against. So. But I think it would be obviously more fun if you beat, you know, the likes of Kansas. Dude. Yeah, so yeah. It's more, uh, you know, more satisfying, I guess. But, you know, I, I wouldn't really care if we, no matter who we beat. Mm -hmm. Home or away, which one do you prefer more? <sighs> I don't This is a hard question. Like, throughout the season, I go into phases, like, like for – Two weeks, I prefer away games. For for a week, I prefer home games. So yeah, I really like away games. Why is that? I want to know why. It's just why. like a hostile crowd. It's, yeah. just, it's, it's fun to play. Uh -huh. It's fun to play, and especially if you do well. Yeah. So yeah, but also home, man. The the rims at home, I, I like them. <laughs> I like them. So, so, so that, that's yeah. a factor then for you. You would say like it, the uh, court, the familiar familiarity yeah. with the court is important as a basketball player. You would mm, say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'd say so. Um, so I have a, I have a few, I have a, I have a few buddies and, you know, they're really big into basketball. Is there a particular, and I just want to know, is there a particular thing that you look at? I know like some buddies, they look at a part of the rim. Um, they look at a, like a hole on the net when they're aiming to shoot. Yeah. Is there something specific you look at or try to do? I don't know. Oh, you don't know? Is it just, <laughs> yeah. is it just yeah. like I think, clockwork? I think front of the rim. Yeah. Okay. Front, front of the of rim the is kind of what yeah. you look yeah. at. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, so Lithuania. I like to eat. I like food. Mm -hmm. Now, if I'm going back to Lithuania, yeah. what do I have to get? A lot of, we have a lot of potato dishes, but the main one is, uh, it's called tepeline, and I'm terrible at explaining it, so I usually just Google and show a picture. Uh -huh. But if I had to explain it, it's like, it's meat, like, wrapped into a potato. Okay. Kind of like a whatever you're imagining. It's wrong. It's wrong. Oh, okay. It's wrong. Jesus. Whatever you're imagining is wrong because okay. my explanation was terrible. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's really Meat good. Wrapped to a potato. And then uh, we have cold beet soup, which is like pink. Cold. Yep. Uh, is that is that a breakfast? Like yeah. 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 It's pretty good. Is that a breakfast dish or no? Uh, like it can be, but yeah, yeah. lunchy. Lunch, more, more lunch, lunch. dish. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then when you came to the states, just even so recently, like. What was that dish where you had it here? What was that meal where it be, you know, Chick-fil-A, Chipotle? What was it that, like, yeah, it's different. This hit me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, th I didn't eat Chipotle for, like, the first year that I was here. Uh -huh. And then I went, and it's probably my favorite place okay. right now. But, uh, yeah, I had a Chick-fil-A phase for, like, six months. <laughs> uh, I really like a, a Chinese place. I door dash it a lot. Uh -huh. yeah. Some sweet and sour chicken. Uh -huh. But, yeah. Those What's three. your um are you when at Chipotle you get you going bowl or burrito? Bowl. Bowl. bowl? Yep. Uh what are we getting in it? I do uh I do white rice, uh -huh. black beans, uh -huh. chicken, yeah, a little bit of queso. There you go. And uh and some corn. And that's it. Sometimes I do lettuce. Are you in a spice? Do you like spice or no? Uh I did it a few times, but it was way too spicy for that's me. Sometimes what I'm sometimes saying. I get it on the side and like just dab it in there. Yeah, a little bit. yeah, but it's still yeah. I'll, I'll ask like more of an educational question. What, what's your uh, major? Sports media. I was international oh, cool. business. So this is like kind of your, your thing then, huh? Right. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I'll, and I'll ask you this then. What's like your like long term plan? Like mm. ideally. Ideally, so, like, go to the, like, go to the NBA. Like, play maybe till. Do some... uh, um, ideally, yeah, NBA. Hopefully, yeah. play for a long time. Yeah. And. Uh, I don't really have that plan yet. I probably would want to stick with basketball and, mm -hmm. you know, head coach maybe, but mm -hmm. probably just be around a team and, you know, see see where that where that goes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, mean, I don't have like a set in stone plan where yeah. like, oh yeah, I want to do this, then I want to work over there. Mm -hmm. So, so you, you mentioned coaching like one day potentially. Um, do you say that you're like really good like with teaching? Like have you like taught lessons to kids or anything like that? Mm -hmm. or, or I mean, I worked I worked some summer camps mm -hmm. <laughs> this okay. year, yeah, like but I wouldn't camp. say I'm a, yeah. 
I'm uh, I'm talented at it, yeah. or you know, I haven't noticed it so yeah. at the moment. But uh, you know, it's just something that I feel like would be would be interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I would be good at it. I would have to you know build up all this experience throughout my playing career, right. and then and then yeah, we'll see. But I just right now I think that it would be something that it, that could be an option. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I, oh. I was just gonna say like. For you, I feel it's just really important for you to be around the game. Like, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Okay. 